Hi, I'm Mike and I'm with Intech and I'm here to show you how to change the signal which your transmitter is sending. Uh, you may come across an issue when working in certain areas that there's a lot of interference between your transmitter and your machine. And this would be the first step as to how to change the signal. So on the back of your remote here, you have a piece of tape. You want to remove that. And then you will see a create button right there and you're going to use a paper clip and you're gonna push in on that for about five to 10 seconds. And you'll notice a blue light above that will stay solid. Once you remove the paper clip, it will flash rapidly. And then you wanna press the blower button and then the, followed by the agitator button and then press in on the create button one more time. And that's it, now we've changed yep. the frequency. And then, yep, and then the light will have gone back to not being lit up and you want to replace that black piece of tape on the back of your remote to prevent dust and other foreign objects from getting into the transmitter. And now your transmitter is programmed to send a different signal. This uh, often increases the reliability of the communication between your machine and the remote. So once you've done that, you're going to have to follow the steps to resync your transmitter to the machine. Thanks, Mike. Hi, I'm Mike and I'm with Intech and I'm here to show you the second option of increasing the reliability of the communication between your transmitter and your machine. So if you try changing the signal at which it's uh, sending and that still didn't increase your communication, then the second option would be to change the battery. And so what you're gonna need is a, a small Phillips screwdriver, a flathead and your new battery. You're going to want to use a CR2032. So the first step would be to remove the five screws from the back of your transmitter. Okay, and remove the outer case and then you're gonna remove the insert on the inside and go ahead and remove your transmitter. And using the flathead, you want to go ahead and open this back part right there. Just flip that open to reveal the battery. And I found it easiest to slide the battery out would be kind of wedge it in from the side. As so. And with your new battery, you want to insert it with the positive side up. And go ahead and remove the backing for your transmitter. And then insert it so the buttons are being shown through that hole, and then insert your insert with that top tab to the left of your antenna, and then line up the back plate with the five holes there. And go ahead and re-screw in the five screws. I found it best to start with the corners So that the holes stay lined up after they've been screwed in. And now your transmitter has new batteries and the signal should be much better now. Excellent. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome.